Welcome back. You're still tuned into Trading R. Let's talk about the big global story. The United States heads for a high-stakes presidential election later today. Polls show Kamala Harris and Donald Trump neck and neck in the race for the White House. Our colleague Parikshit is joining in with the latest. Parikshit. Roughly 82 million American citizens out of 186 million registered voters have already voted. This means more than 50% of the total votes cast in the 2020 election are already in via early voting. Now, when does voting actually begin on election day? On the 5th of November, voting begins at 5 a.m. Eastern Time in Vermont and between 6 a.m. Eastern Time and 12 p.m. Eastern Time in other states. First polls to close would be in eastern counties of Indiana and Kentucky at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. This would be followed by Georgia, South Carolina, Vermont and Virginia. That would close by 7 p.m. Eastern Time. The all-important state of Pennsylvania is likely to close by 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Alaska would be the last state to finish voting and this could go on till about 1 a.m. on 6th of November in the United States. By 6.30 a.m., India time on the 6th of November, polls may project a winner in the crucial state of Pennsylvania, which may give a sense of the national mood. The overall results and the winner could be announced on 6th morning unless there is a recount due to a narrow margin of victory in the swing states. And this is uh, uh, being expected because the, the victory margin, according to most polls, is very, very narrow right now. And in case there is a recount, it could take hours or even some days for the winner to be projected. After Iowa, Harris is expected to win Nevada, according to John Ralston of Nevada Independent, which has a very strong and robust track record of polling. Harris will win 48.5% of the vote and Trump will win 48.2%, according to the Nevada Independent poll. Independent voters, according to Ralston, will be giving a narrow victory to Harris in Nevada. According to Washington Post, average of polls, Trump is leading Pennsylvania by just one point. Harris has a marginal one-point lead over Trump in four national polls. But overall, the race is tied and remains too close to call. Pariksha, thank you very much for that. And CNBC TV 18 will be covering the race to the White House with our special programming, which will take place in the evening, giving you updates through the course of the day. The first show is at uh, 6 p.m. And then we've got another special lined up at 7.30 p.m. So do uh, tune in to that. Let's get back to the market.